The American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers 41st Historic Landmark designation is the Universal Soil Loss Equation. Soil erosion reached crisis proportions in the United States in the late 1920s and early 30s. Severe water erosion and dust storms from wind erosion affected both agricultural production and human health. Through the efforts of Hugh Hammond Bennett, now known as the father of soil conservation, the United States Congress provided initial funding of $160,000 in 1929 for research on soil erosion. Under Bennett's leadership, 10 erosion research stations were established at Guthrie, Oklahoma, Temple, Texas, Hayes, Kansas, Tyler, Texas, Bethany, Missouri, Statesville, North Carolina, Pullman, Washington, Clarinda, Iowa, La Crosse, Wisconsin, and Zanesville, Ohio. With all the stations controlling and testing the same variables, commensurable soil erosion data from different climatic locations in the United States became available and these data formed the core of the USLE database. In the 40s, factors affecting erosion began to be quantified. Two of the most notable scientists were Dwight Smith, an agricultural engineer and the leader of USDA erosion research, and Walt Wishmeyer, a statistician. Smith and Wishmeyer proposed the formulation of the universal soil loss equation, which includes rainfall, soil, length and gradient of slope, cropping, and conservation practice factors. In 1954, the National Runoff and Soil Loss Data Center was created at Purdue University under the direction of Walter Wishmeyer. Access to electronic data processing enabled rapid analysis of the large quantities of data that had been collected from the 10 original U.S. erosion research stations. The USDA Purdue Rainfall Simulator, or Rainulator, was developed by Don Meyer and Donald McCune in the late 1950s as a tool to conduct experiments to supplement the USLE Natural Rainfall Database. An extensive five-year erodibility experiment using the rainulator was conducted on 55 Corn Belt soils by Jerry Mannering in the 1960s. This study was critically important for development of the soil erodibility nomograph that made USLE very easy to apply to any soil. The development of the USLE technology is signified by the publication of USDA Agricultural Handbooks number 282 in 1965 number 537 in 1978, and number 703 in 1997. The current version, the Revised Universal Soil Loss Equation, or RUSLE, incorporated erosion research results from the 70s and 80s. It further refined the controlling factors and, most important of all, computerized USLE to make the technology much more easy to use. The USLE technology has been used by the USDA NRCS field offices and in more than 100 countries to guide conservation planning, assess soil erosion for conservation policy development, and estimate sediment yield or reduction. It has helped to save millions of tons of soil, thus helping to feed the world's population and to protect the environment from sediment produced by soil erosion. In March 2003, the historic landmark was designated and placed at the front entry of the USDA National Soil Erosion Research Laboratory on the campus of Purdue University. <laughs>